Good morning. I'm wondering, how do you deal with tragedy? If you've heard the news, you know that as of yesterday, and not just yesterday, throughout the week, there have been some hard things that our country has had to face. And some of it, it's easy for us being where we are because the stuff that's going on a lot of times is at different places and other states, and it's just kind of easy to let it slide by and dismiss it. But then eventually that tragedy is going to strike closer to home. So what is it that we as believers do, no matter what the tragedy is, no matter where it is, no matter who's involved? Well, I think there's a scripture that can help us deal with that today. It comes from John chapter 16, verse 33. And it says this, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. So one thing in there, it says you will have trouble. Each of us will have trouble. There will be tragedy that we will face, and we just need to know that's going to happen because of the state of the world in which we live. But there's also a sense in which God has told us in the midst of that, in the midst of that tragedy, we can have peace. I don't believe anyone who is not, doesn't have God in their life can really have that type of significant peace. So if we understand that, if we know that through our relationship with God, we we're able to embrace that peace because we know God has overcome the world, because we know there's something bigger than the situation that we're facing. We know that God desires to use us as part of, of his kingdom to provide um, peace to others to provide encouragement and a lot of times in the midst of that we don't know what to do we don't know what to say but God does so if we just avail ourselves and, and can know that God's going to show himself in the midst of that situation it makes a difference in how we can approach that and we don't fake it I, it, I, I do not like the saying that says fake it until you make it we as Christians should never do that because people know when you're being fake. But I believe that we can have peace even when we don't understand. Because we know God is bigger than what we're able to understand. So I don't know where you are. It's not like I'm, I'm super stressed out today. But I am, having heard some things in the news, I, I am bothered. I am concerned. I am hurting for some other people. And so in the midst of that, I want God to be a part of my day and what I think and what I do and how I respond to others and recognizing whether there's anything specific God wants to use me to do to make a difference in what's going, around, what's going on around me at, here at Woodland, in my family, in my community, in my state, in my country, in my world. But I want God to be a part of that. And that's what it means to be an overcomer, is to allow God to use us where God desires to, when God desires to, with whom God desires. So no matter what's going on in your life today, no matter whether you're, you're dealing with a tragedy or not, I still believe God desires each of us to be an overcomer. So as you go about your day today, I do hope that you're blessed in a way that you, you experience God's peace but also that you will seek to be an overcomer.